Okay, so the Taste of Home magazine for February, March 2021. Now, I've only got, I'm going to say, two pages marked off in this, but it was very informative, very good recipes. This first one is um, Easy as Pie Day. It says, Pie Day is March 14th. The celebration of this mathematical constant, pi, which is 3.14, but you don't need to be a mathematic to celebrate with a simple, delicious dessert. You're going to use the banana fudge pie. Look at this. Okay, this is actually so amazing that I was thinking of taking a picture of this and maybe even trying it myself, but I'm not good with the dividing eggs thing. I really am not. This dessert, which is like a banana sundae, is both light and good. I make it often, Myra Ennis of Auburn, Kansas says on page 14 of February, March 2021 of Taste of Home magazine. Your prep time is 20 minutes. Your bake time is 30 minutes, plus you got to chill it. Makes eight servings. You're going to take one sheet refrigerated pie crust. You're going to take a half a cup miniature semi-sweet chocolate chips melted. You're going to take three cups of whipped topping divided. You're going to take two large eggs, one fourth cup sugar, two bananas sliced. Additional miniature chocolate chips are for garnish and optional. You're going to unroll your pie crust into a nine inch pie plate. Flute the edge. Now in a large bowl, combine the melted chocolate, one cup whipped topping, three whipped topping, we'll get it here in a minute, your eggs and sugar, you're going to mix it well. Pour into the crust and bake at 350 for 30 minutes. Cool 10 minutes, then refrigerate for an hour. Now your layer sliced bananas over the pie with the top of the remaining whipped topping. You're going to sprinkle that miniature chocolate chips on top if desired. Chill until serving. Now one piece alone of this delicious pie is 317 calories. You will have 16 grams of fat with 10 grams of saturated fat. 58 milligrams of cholesterol, 117 milligrams of sodium, 39 grams of carbs, 22 grams of sugar, 1 gram of fiber, and 3 grams of uh, protein. And it says it's continued on page 16. So they have a, I'll show this up here to you really quickly. Okay, and we're going to go over to page 16. I didn't mark page 16, but, well, it's not over here. Maybe it was just something else. Hmm. Weird. Okay, well, we're going to move forward. Oh, I know why I marked this next part. For all of you who have Valentine's, this is why you've got to pick up this book right here. Share the love. Home cooks prove there's plenty of sweetness to go around Valentine's Day. Bake up these tender treats for the homemade way to show that you care. And the very first thing they show is cranberry Nutella sandwich cookies on page 37 of Taste of Home. Okay. And I'll show you these other delicious recipes, but I want you to pick up this magazine. Brownie Kiss Cupcakes. Salted Peanut Squares. Triple Berry Mini Pies. And look at the mason jar. Red Velvet Cake in a Jar. It's so cute. It's not a full mason jar. It's a little jar, but it's, it's cute nonetheless. Um, the recipes are on page 40, 41, and that's all I'm doing on this one. It's a good book. I suggest if you have a sweetheart, Valentine's Day's coming up, get this book so you can make one of those delicious recipes. Now, why does banana always stick out for me? Because it's, it's one of my favorites, but my grandpa used to make banana cream pie from scratch. It was amazing. And I wish I could do it like he used to do it, but there's nobody that could do banana cream pie like he could. Just saying. And I've I've tried talking to him about making me one, but he was like, no, no, it's too much trouble. So I miss that. But anyway, thought I'd share. 
We're going to go ahead and try and do two more magazines, so don't you go nowhere.